Hello and welcome. I said I would be here. I'm a little bit later than uh, than I expected, uh, just because of people, really. Um, there are some things going on, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm a little bit late. So um, I'm sure the person holding me up, us up, doesn't care, and that's fine. But um, right, what we'll do is yet yeah, painting stream. So uh, what we're doing is, <laughs> yeah, th there's not gonna be a lot of detail in this, um, really. I'm just gonna be going through the motions of uh, sort of painting a Titan. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like, sort of what view to kind of go for, a little bit of a higher view this time. I don't know, but either way. Yeah, so if you can just imagine the uh, the Warbringer um, without those two weapons, I'm not going to have the, the, the lasers uh, on it. And this isn't going to be a laser uh, Warbringer. If you can imagine it with, like, I'm going to go for a turbo laser and the Gatling. I'm not quite sure which, which arm will be which, but I think that will look quite cool. Um, in that that configuration uh, but yeah obviously it looks a bit odd at the moment because of no armor paneling and things uh, but uh, I think that looks better with that weapon configuration I think anyway here's here's a couple that I made earlier right here so again just kind of yeah not sure whether that will fit that one definitely does, but that one possibly not. Might be because of the new weapons and things. I mean, we could go for, we could go for dual. Let's just stop and go for dual. Having it like that, that's still quite cool. I think the Gatling blaster um, forward looks looks quite cool. So. go yeah that one yeah that's the thing because it's on a bit of a little bit of an angle that one i'm not sure why i did that but it just doesn't i guess it doesn't look too bad like that but um maybe because of the head is kind of leaning forward because that's not glued at all um that looks a bit better but yeah, uh, it'll have um, Gatling and um, Turbo. I'm not going to put the Melter uh, on it. Uh, the Melter is for the close combat uh, one. So, um, let me move these weapons out of the way. Uh, I did have a big, big brush somewhere. Oh, here it is. What I've got to do really, first thing, is, hi Kriegsman, how you doing? is um, just get the dust and things off. Um, I've already had a go at getting the dust off. I need an air air duster. I'll order one on Amazon at some point. Um, I'm not going to be applying the shade with this brush. I did think about it and yeah this is mainly a scenery brush. I think um, it would just pull and things too much if I used use this. So. So yeah, you've got me for the next sort of few hours on this uh, lovely bank holiday. If you haven't already, uh, I would suggest you subscribe, support the channel that way. It's free, obviously, you know. Um, right, I think what we'll do is we will just shade the Quake Cannon first of all. How much does it weigh? Um, not quite sure. I could go and grab my scales. Kilogram? Couple of kilograms? 
You probably want pounds and things like that though, don't you? It is pretty heavy. It's not as heavy as the Warlord. Um, like I want I wanted to have the Warlord in the shot as well, uh, but with the the painting that I'm going to do, the shade is going to go everywhere. Uh, so I, I've kind of yeah gone against that um, decision. Which I think is is a good good decision, uh, but if anybody wants to see like a before and after, maybe um, there is uh, what we're what we're aiming for. At some point today, um, oh yeah, no worries, Kriegsman, no worries. Enjoy your walk, enjoy the uh, weather. I mean, I guess if you had uh, data, you could take me with you, you know. It's mainly audio, isn't it, my, my live streams and things. And I guess my videos, except for the um, uh, size comparisons, possibly. Um, Uh, my thought on late August, early September release. Uh, yeah, I, it's what I expected, isn't it? I, I did say that they would that they would do it. They would. Um, I'm wondering if we can uh, because it's a big model. I'm wondering if I can just um, increase the height of this tripod a little bit. Hmm. Possibly not. Uh, if I just lower you down, just for a moment, and then I'm going to try something new here. Sorry for the wobble. But it might be worth it. Might be. Okay, right, so that's like standard height. We can go a bit higher, maybe. Not too much higher. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Okay. Don't want to be too... Yeah, maybe the other, the other view looks look better. So about there. Yeah, probably the other view did look better. Give me a bit more height thinking uh my thoughts sorry Reverend. uh i i'd said that they would do it i said that they would um uh release everything at once and they're silly they really are silly i'll, I'll you know i'll ca i'll call it as i see it um remember there were quite a few weeks there where it was just Hardly any releases, it was just, um, it was really quiet for releases. And they could have just released a couple of Tyranid things then. But what they've done is, is they've chosen to release everything in one. You know, it's, it's not good. I really always prefer staggered releases. Um, you know, what, what's wrong with releasing the Combat Patrol, or, you know, whatever it's called, and the, um, Codex and maybe the Emirates series one week and then a few things the next week and then a few things the week after. What What's wrong with that? I mean... So what I might do is I might just buy a couple of things uh, at the weekend, like the Emirates series and the, uh, probably the Codex, because I did say I was going to get the Codex. Um, yeah. Now... I do like the hips of the old um, Nemesis. Uh, prices, price are out, good, good, nice.
uh, isn't as big as an armager. I'm not sure, it could be bigger. Is it bigger? Um, no, they, it's not just Tyranids. It's it's lots of other releases they've they've done that, isn't it, Revan? Like you know, you've been around long enough. Mm. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of other armies they've done that. Which is not my yeah, it's not my preferred preferred thing for them to do, really. So, plan today is shade. Um, not sure if we'll get to the highlighting stage, but definitely um, shading stage. <clears throat> I've never painted one of these before. Well, of course I haven't. Um, so, I'm not quite sure uh, what bits are bronze and what bits aren't. <sighs> Um, we'll, we'll, yeah, even though the, the release is now, uh, I think we'll still do a Nidvember on the channel. Um, but by then, it'll probably be painting, painting them, I think. That's the plan. lot of dust flying about now. Right. What we're going to do is going to take these wood shields off. See where I put the magnets in here. Put two magnets there, two magnets there. Um, for some reason, there's a missing magnet there. I don't know why. <clears throat> I do like these big exhausts. Absolutely huge. Love them. Okay, so it's got to be careful when putting this one down because it does have that tail um, bolt cannon weapon. <clears throat> um, I've already used a duster. And the duster doesn't uh, doesn't work, so paintbrush is good.
these have to be kept in order. This is one of the pains about this model is, is you have to um, keep these leg pieces uh, together um, because they each, they're dependent for the leg and they're dependent on the position that they are on the foot. Um, not like the Warlord where they can be swapped around all, you know, all over the place. These are specific for each um, toe. Uh, so, you know, not having them glued down can be a bit of a pain if you, you know, if you miss them or lose them or uh, drop them or whatever. Um, it's, it's a bit of a, it's just, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, however, what I will say is um, you, ca you can avoid any uh, difficulties in a way because, well, I'll say that. It does say, um, I think in there, it says R out, like that it's kind of um, scored in there uh, as part of the mold. Um, so, of course, this says, what did I say it said? Uh, R. So, you, one would think that that's the right foot <laughs> out, but possibly it's yeah one would think that that's the right foot out what's this one then that's in well that would be in maybe this one is that one is in too so that one should be over here yeah that one should be over there and then this one in and that's right so that's the right right in see what I mean so the longer armor panel in should be on the outside I think I've got these right though. Uh, rear L. Yeah, rear L. Good. All right, so these are fine. What's this one? Rear R. All right, so we're back to the correct um, legs now. That's very important to get them right. It's always worth checking as well. I would have checked again or I will check again after it's painted before I <laughs> see what I mean before I glue them glue them down they are they're an absolute pain you might it might be worth blue tacking them because they will keep doing this it depends on the pose you go for really but Not a very big magnet on the top. It's not really needed. Um, but I do like the hips. I wish I wish the the hip joint um, was on the uh, warlord. I really do. I wish this had the warlord's feet uh, and armor paneling, and I wish that the this warbringer. Uh, I wish that the warlord had the um, this hip joint in an ideal world. <laughs> right, that's it, I'm anti-dusted and things so we'll get on to adding some paint um, what I need to do is just grab a little bottle put some liquid in um, I'm trying to think of where it is it would be a good thing to have actually 
obviously. Uh, what do we want? We want non oil. Lots of non oil. Rummaging around for that, that elusive bottle that I have. Uh, here's something, here's something. Wow. Well, well, well. Okay. I mean, we will need. We will need this at some point. I haven't actually unboxed it or reviewed it. It's my wet palette. Let me find my uh, water thing. Okay, that's that done, kind of. I need to put a bit of water in it, obviously. Um, but I've wet it, wet it, I've revived it. Uh, now I just need to find the water bottle. I mean, I suppose I should have found this sooner, to be fair, but um, let's just put that over there for a while. I'm not really sure where it's got to. Thought it would be. Uh, down here. Plenty of um Oh I do have an extra glue thing. Do we have two two extra glues? Oh and I've got okay, right. So the glue situation is fine. Except for the Tamiya. Okay, okay. Bear with me, I'm just gonna move this over there to give you something awesome to look at. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, that would be great if this chair is always getting in the way. <sighs> okay, right now we're in a better position. Okay. Uh, Lots of old brushes. I might throw a load of these away actually. Um, I know that I did have a couple of really great. Uh, water bottle type things they seem to have disappeared. I might just use any container in a moment. Um, I'm probably looking in 
completely the wrong place as well. Knowing me. Yeah. Okay. Plan B. Plan B, plan B, plan B. Yeah, I'm currently at a loss of where my water container's gone to. It's been so long, you see. Um, I'll keep looking there. Over there, probably. Ah, got it. Huzzah! I found it! Okay. Okay. Very important, I need to find that water container so we can continue. Thank you for your patience, it's all good. Uh, thank you Cliff, appreciate that. And let's just move the camera back to kind of where it was. And what's going on with this tripod? Okay. Hey. Almost back to where we were. <clears throat> mm. 
yeah, please don't be uh, don't be shy. Uh, Seventy pound for the emissary. That's not too bad. It's about what I was expecting. I was actually expecting like eighty. But yeah, that's not too bad. I think I think that's fine. With a discount, um, you're looking at what fifty fifty six. I think that'll sell quite well. I think that'll be a very very popular one. Um, okay, right. So paint on brush. Not really. I will change these paint live streams. Don't worry, guys. These will, um, yeah, I will get different setups and things. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah, let's have that. What I'm thinking of, though, is Yeah, I might paint in there a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, where's... Is Iron Hand Steel the, the new lead belcher? Okay, that one's not too bad. rather have a larger brush. That one might do. Yeah, that'll do. All I'm doing is just painting the, um, now this brush is dead. <laughs> yeah, this brush definitely is dead.
Yeah, please do put in the uh, comments what you're working on today. Um, yeah, I suppose I could actually shade while I'm painting these. That'll probably work out best. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll move them over there and we will shade this. I haven't decided on, well, we won't shade this because there's a bit of repair work that needs to be done. And this might need a more and more repair as time goes on. Well, no, it won't, to be fair, because I can just, um, I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna glue the, uh, cannon. Are these deemed? No, they're not. Yeah, not quite sure where to put the bronze on these uh, these areas. So.
Move that one out of the way. Yeah, I don't know what um, what colour in terms of this faceplate. I don't know what they've they've done. I need to have a little look. Whether it's all black, could could just be all black. All I'm doing is just going over the areas that um, spray did not pick up. And there aren't many. Just the thing is with the shade, you, you don't, I don't want to gamble it. I don't want to, because it will bring out areas of the metal that aren't painted. I'd rather not risk it. I'd rather just um, go over it a little bit. Um, if I were to take control of Forge World uh, for two to three years, what would I do? Actually make models. I bring out all the uh, Titan weapons as a matter of urgency. Um, I'd, I'd hugely expand the range of, um, well, I'd bring out as many possible Horus Heresy characters as I could that Games Workshop can't or won't uh, bring out in plastic. Um, I would start building um, 40k miniatures again in resin 
specifically the Overlord uh, for Primaris. Primaris are severely lacking in anything resin. We had the Asterius and that was it. Asterius? Stress, sorry. Don't really know why I'm painting this uh, door um, metal. It's going to be bone colour, I think. Or well, the door is going to be red and the. Uh... Maybe I'm just basing it, I guess. Um, I bring back all the Warhammer uh, resin minis. Like the hag. Should be the top of my list. Then the rocks. Then some different giants, probably. Dragons as well. I know their one chaos dragon took them ages, but it was huge. Um probably smaller dragons, chaos demons, uh I'll probably put a hold on Necromunda and Blood Bowl. I would bring out um, Battlefleet Gothic. And what I mean by that is I bring it out in plastic. So kind of like your main ships and frigates and cruisers. But for Forge World, I'd bring out the Legion specific flagships and also things like the Phalanx and part of a Blackstone Fortress, probably. I don't know. I mean, in, in a way, I think Blackstone Fortress could be could be done in plastic. At that scale, I think. What would you do, Revan, if you were in, in charge of uh, Forge World? Uh, yes, uh, Cyclonite, Cyclonite. Um, the colour scheme will be the same, it'll be Xerxes, um, Legio Xerxes. It'll be the same black and gold. Yep. Uh, what we'll do, just move them over there. Because I kind of want to make a start on this. Um, yeah. I'd love to see Gothic return. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would be cool. It would be good to see that return. You know, they've got Titanicus, they've got Aeronautica, and they've now got Imperialis. Battlefleet Gothic would be would be awesome. I wouldn't mind seeing a, sh a naval game, like a ship game or something. Um, there's probably plenty of uh, 
ocean planets and things. So, yeah, um, why, why not? Really? Why not? I'd like to see some like orc pirate ships and things and, you know. Now I'm cheating a little bit because I haven't painted the bronze and normally I would have painted the bronze first and then non oil but yeah we're just going to do this first of all. Not quite sure which areas to paint the non oil, the um, bronze sorry. Yeah, I'm not very happy with that piston. The rest of the pistons are going to be the same, so what I'll do is I'll remove the pistons and paint them. Um, bolt gun. So let's keep them out of the way for now. Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely they could. Yep. I'm going to do the uh, bottom of the feet last. Otherwise you end up with um, sort of sticking issues. Again, not much point shading this. This, um, these pistons, leg pistons because I'm going to be uh, painting rune fang over them. I like the pistons to be a brighter um, metallic. 
it brings out the uh, the oil in the agrax um, better. Uh, do I click Middle Earth? I've got some Orakai, and that's it. So no. I'd like to, but my backlog is is big enough. I mean, this is the thing: if if someone bought me Middle Earth or Games Workshop sent me some, or I don't know, whatever, and um, yeah, I'd, I'd happily build them and review them and paint them. I'm not I'm not adverse to them. I, I like Lord of the Rings, you know. I think some of their Forge World uh, Lord of the Rings stuff and Hobbit stuff is, is fantastic. I'm so pleased that they continue to support it after all these years. You know, they could have just supported like the main release of Lord of the Rings and things and then and then done away with it. Um, but they haven't. That's quite annoying when that happens, though. Uh -huh. Um, what are your thoughts about Horus Heresy plastic models? Um, why does Games Workshop refuse to launch models of early Horus in plastic? Um, I haven't, I haven't witnessed, um, refuse is, su is such a strong word. Um, just because, you know, somebody or, or a company aren't doing something, it, it doesn't mean that they are refusing. Refusing is when you ask and they outright say, no, we're, we're not going to do that. Um, and they can give reasons and it's still a refusal. Um, I think it's a choice. They're a business. They can do what they want. And uh, at the moment, they thought that releasing Mark VI um, was, was the best thing. Uh, they, you know, it gave them a chance to work on the scale a bit as well, even though Mark six and three are exactly the same height, uh, but yeah, because it's Horus Heresy, it it's kind of like, you know, not the Crusade, so it'd be a bit silly releasing kind of Mark two armor um, when the Crusade is kind of finished. Like, law wise, I've I've read most of the books, I've read all the Siege of Terror books, and um, yeah, Mark six sets them up for the Siege of Terror. It, it's strange though because I would have liked them to have um, kind of collaborated with the Siege of Terror releases and had some specific character models and all those kind of things and they haven't done that which is a missed opportunity um, but yeah I hope that they do release Crusade Era uh, Space Marine Marks you know Mark 2 specifically um, Mark 3 is my favorite and uh, we're getting a refresh of that but um, yeah, I'm, I'm all for Mark II um, to reenact some some battles before the Horus Heresy. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you're up in in your law, but um, you know the law says that the whole reason for sort of Mark Fives um, was because it was sort of mishmash of armor because the amount of armor during the Horus Heresy was. Uh, it's getting very slim, so Space Marines had to sort of cobble together their own marks of mark of Space Marine armor, hence Mark V, the heresy armor, um, before Mark VI was sort of came into full production. 
Uh, but yeah, with the mishmash of different marks, they couldn't really release it. So the next logical step was was uh, to have Mark six. Um, but yeah, I'm all up. I'm up for Mark two if they do that when they do that, because um, then you could reenact some some uh, battles of uh, the Crusade, the Great Crusade. That would be that would be fantastic. Um, Oh, get off the road kits. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, that does look, look awesome if you like the Lord of Rings. I hope you're a proficient painter. Because that does, that kit looks like it requires a fair amount of detail. Your wife probably knows your abilities anyway, so. The one thing which is quite difficult to get to are these rotors, you know, the actual hips themselves. Um, I just wanted to build it and get it get it built and things, hence why I, I glued that together. Um, but I didn't do that for the Warlord. Again, I'll glue the whole hips and things for the, the second and third Warlords when, you know, when I get around to it. Yeah, coming to a sort of part where I want to start the other leg. And I really would like to start painting some things in bronze. Oh, good, good. Oh, well, that's good to hear, yeah. I don't think I'd do, do it justice, the, that model, the get off the road model. Um, faces, I'm not, not very good at faces. I'd probably mess it up. Probably, probably paint Frodo as like a goblin or something. It'd be funny, but a waste of a nice mini for me. Oh, we're getting there. Can do the other, the other foot. Yeah, face is a weak point <laughs> for me. That's why all my berserkers have uh, helmets. All my dark angels have helmets. Yeah, so uh, a lot of things to pre-order for me uh, next week. Um, so as always, uh, you know, your support to the channel helps massively. If I can get as many of the Tyranid models to cover as, as I possibly can for you, then I will. I'm working a fair bit in September though, so that might affect things. I will pick up the Arvis lighter as well. 
Um, I just I, the thing is for me in my head on the horizon, uh, we've got the 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 other two Serastis knights. You know, and and if it's a choice between Serastis knight or the Arvis, then yeah, it's, it's going to be one of the the knights, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, but I just hope that both those knights don't come out in till kind of October time. The other Warbringer that I have, um, that is going to be in a um, sort of braced pose because that has the big old uh, volcano cannon on the top. I don't think that volcano cannon's as good or maybe it's just exactly the same as the Warlord one, which sucks because this Mori uh, Quake Cannon is is better than the... Um... Is it Bellicosa? Or... No, that's the Volcano. This um, Quake Cannon is better than the uh, Warlord's one. But yeah. Uh, I just wanted that one to be in a like a bracing pose. Uh, the other one that I'm currently building. You're never going to see the, these these areas right here, but I think it's important to uh, paint them. Um, yeah, and and it's it's a it's ex, it's a lovely piece um, to have next to the your TV or near the films or. or you know something on a bookshelf near the books it's it is a i do like that i do like when um well lego or or games workshop forge or whoever make these these miniatures that um you can uh sort of place uh in amongst your your kind of furniture i guess i don't know what you call it your living space, in amongst your living space. The thing is, uh, let me ask you a question though. What is the standout scene for the first Lord of the Rings? Um, I, I, I think for, for me, it's the Balrog or it's the... Um, They're all sat around the table. The thing is, there's so, there's so many good scenes though, isn't there? I really like the Lego set, the Rivendell Lego set. I'd like to get that. Maybe I get that for Christmas and have a proper kind of Lord of the Rings Christmas instead of um, getting the Titanic. The thing is with the Titanic is I have a place where I know it would look very nice. Whereas Rivendell, nah, I, I, I would need to make space somewhere to put that. Maybe I'll just get both. I don't know. I don't think I own the film Titanic. 
either. Whereas obviously the other rings I have I have them all. Um, reveal show, yeah, this is true, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Dreadnought Primaris Lieutenant. <laughs> I really hope we do get another Lieutenant. Um, it's been so long, and there there aren't many. This is the thing. There, there really, there's only, I think, probably two Lieutenants. Um, for Primaris, so we 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 definitely need a third or a fourth or a twentieth. Um, I feel like there there just aren't enough lieutenants in the the Primaris force. You know one of the legs will kick this uh, null null over, you know that, right? Uh, second breakfast. <laughs> but what about brunch? What about elevenses? <laughs> I'd love a second breakfast by now. Yeah, Balrog. Yeah. Um, Helm's Deep for, for the two towers. A resin kit for the Helm's Deep. How about that? This is going to be bronze anyway, I don't know why I'm shading that. Again, probably don't know why I'm shading this bit because I think this um, heat sink is also going to be bronze. But
On the time for me to get a drink soon. I don't know when I started this actually. What? What's happened there? Uh, we'll have that. It says an hour ago, but I think it's a bit more than that. Sometimes I wonder whether like spraying shade on would be uh, easier. Quicker. You get like a little spray bottle. Can you can you really put them in airbrushes though? Shade? You probably can, you know. That's the thing that I would like for Christmas this year. Is, is an airbrush. Um, what we'll do is, like I said, we'll do the feet last. Oh. Yeah, well, this is going to be bronze anyway, so.
Uh, thank you, Craigsman. Thank you. I am getting there. And hopefully, well, I don't know whether this will dry in the live stream. I don't think it will. Uh, this this won't dry quick enough in the live stream for me to um, highlight. I like uh, the, the shades to be bone dry before I even think about highlighting. Um, because even though you're dry brushing with the Necron compound, it's it's a brush at the end of the day and it will find pockets of moisture uh, from the shade and um, just suck it up. Uh, and then, you know, and then your highlight just becomes a mess. It's, it becomes darker than the, the intention. So yeah, I, I won't be highlighting uh, the legs in the stream. I suppose I could maybe paint some of the bronze though. Nah, because if I paint the bronze then when I highlight it'll um, smear the bronze. So no bronze either then today. But I can do all the other pieces. The lead belt would have dried from those. Looking good. Again, not quite sure why I'm shading this. It's because you're not going to see it. Okay. Um, yeah, while that's drying, I'm then going to be painting. Yeah, that one's done. Um, What a random question? Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I've got the the Forgeworld weathering powder. Uh, you'll see it in your mind. I might swap out my brush. I've got an M layer, an M base, another M layer. That might be a bit too. I think that's going to be a bit too small. Though. No, that'll be alright. That's fine. Whatever. Oh.
No, this might be a bit too small actually. Yeah, I don't know whether that... I'm going to find a bigger brush. Yeah, this one isn't um, this one's too small. Yeah, uh, but at least that's done. Um, let me just go get a. It's uh I do need a new set of brushes though. I will say that. Okay. Right. So. Let's see how this brush goes. This is a starter brush. <laughs> no, already it's frayed. I only put it in water. What, what on earth? Right, let's see how long this lasts. I think that wasn't too bad, that one. That wasn't too bad. I don't think you can really tell there.
when did I uh, get this model? Well, I got this model on release. Might have been the day before release. Back when you got models uh, from Forge World on Fridays instead of Saturdays. And you also pre-ordered them on Fridays. Um, I got it Friday uh, in December 2018. So it's been almost five years uh, since I have had this model. Uh, yeah, I did. I did fix the, uh, the the gate. Yeah, I did. It wasn't very good, and I fixed it. Uh, I think I broke the hips or something, or well, broke one of them off. Um, because you with this one, you can't have the feet too close together. You can have them pretty close together on the uh, the warlord, but the feet are comparably big like there's there's the actual width of the hips aren't as big as the warlord but yet the feet are are pretty big comparatively so you have to be careful when you're um you know posing posing the feet uh the second one will be um as i said already it'll be in more of a kind of solid bracing pose which I'm looking for I'm looking forward to building that one uh, because I've kind of built the pose in Titanicus like that um, Nemesis Titan I've built for Titanicus will be the pose for for the second one of these and I'll use those turbo lasers Sorry, the turbo lasers, the uh, volcano cannons on it. That will be a kind of Titan killer one. This is kind of like a destroy everything one. Well, this this one is more of like an artillery piece. It'll sit sit right at the back and then it's got some defensive weapons if it needs. In the form of like Gatling blasters and things. Yeah, definitely, especially with a model that you've never built before, you can't expect to um, build it uh, perfectly first time. Learning through experience, the best way. And I know that for next time there's been a biological change in my brain that will uh, pop up when I build the second one. Come on, start a brush. You're almost at the end of your life. Colour of the void shields, that's another thing. I'm not quite sure what colour I'll 
I'll have these. Um, no, I, I think it will be vastly different um, to the to the warlord. Vastly. The, the legs themselves and the hips are their own massive project. Um, because you look at the back of the Warmaster, uh, you look at the legs and they are... Um, there's like an extra leg behind them. I wonder if they'll sell it as one kit or multiple. I really hope they, they just give you the option. Like, oh, you can buy the legs separate. You can buy the torso separate. Of course, the head will be separate. Um, there, there, there'll probably be an option to buy it all in one go, or an option to buy them in parts, but I've got a feeling that they won't let you buy just like the legs, which I think is really, really bad. If they just say, right, here's a Warmaster Titan, 3,000 pound, I, I think that would be but they do, they do this kind of thing. Um, they, they've done it in the past. But they really should sell each part sort of separately. I think that would be great if they did. Uh, weapons will definitely be separate. Uh, no, Revan, they haven't announced a Warmaster in resin. I'm just responding to Kriegsman's um, if they. I think it's important um, to to talk about these things. You, you bring up a lot of models and stuff um, before they're released as well. Your, your question before was, um, I remember it quite clearly. Do you think they'll bring out a Serastus Knight Lancer and in plastic or do you think they'll bring out Serastus Knights and they hadn't announced those at the time but I still um, replied to your your question about about that and I think it's important to um, uh, talk about these things that haven't been released that could be released um, it's interesting like any any obstacles they've overcome or you know I don't know why my voice is so Quiet. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Microphone was somewhere else in the room.
Okay. good because it gives this a bit of a time to dry uh, we'll finish these uh, pistons and then um, I'll go grab a drink Would you rather a War Master or a Psy Titan? Both. Uh, I would rather a War Master because it would be something completely new. Um, and the thing is, they, they've kind of already done a Psy Titan. They've got the parts, they just need to increase the size a little bit. Very easy to do, they just need to make, make the... Uh, Sinistre Tenebrum or whatever it's called, um, Canon. They just need to make that bigger. They need to make the uh, the top carapace type psychic amplifier thingy. And they just need to make a new head, which again, easy. And they should have released that. They should have released that when the... Um, Adeptus Titanicus Psy Titan was released. Silly that they still haven't released one. Maybe because it's OP, I don't know. It did have rules, didn't it? So I don't know how it can be that OP if it already had rules. And the thing is, everybody that really, really wants one would have bought a Warlord Titan by now and probably 3D printed their own uh, parts to make it a Psy Titan. Do you think those same people are going to buy the Psy Titan kind of extra pack and weapons and things? Of course they're not. If they've um, designed their own Psy Titan upgrade pack and gone to the trouble, gone to the trouble of designing it and then paying to print it and all those kind of things, do you really think they're going to spend another... Oh, weapon's going to be easily 100 or more. Um, the head is going to be, what, 60, 70? And then the uh, top carapace thing could could be 100? Do you think people are really going to spend about 280, 200, 280 300 pound on... things that they've kind of already got? No, they're not. They're not going to. 
So it's lo it's it's lost sales. It's really such a shame. And it's lost sales from people that would have bought bought it. And this is my frustration with the weapons. Like the weapons have taken so long for Forge World to um to create and build and uh design and stuff that when they do eventually come out people with warlord titans probably either have, again have made their own or they can just take them or leave them you know there's no rush now the, the thing is with titan weapons is sometimes sometimes if you get the uh configuration correct it can actually act as a catalyst for people buying another Titan. Who'd have thought? Especially with like a Psy Titan, if they release the uh, Psy Titan weapons and stuff, and you know, I'd buy a third Warlord, of course. Of course I would, why, why would I not? Such a fantastic kit. Right, I said I would go get a, uh, a drink. I think iced, iced coffee today again. Sounds good. Uh, and then we're just gonna shade the absolute hell out of everything. I think what we'll do, what should we shade first? We're gonna shade the weapons anyway, because, just because um, they're there. Uh, Right, I will be back in a couple of seconds. Um, and when we get back, I'm gonna shade this big boy. Shade that, this, and the weapons, and then the paint should be dry to to shade these. Oh no no no! Scrap that. We're gonna shade the main the main bulk. We're getting there. I would like to uh, shade it most of the things today. We'll see, we'll see how we get on. So, I will be back soon. Just gonna put the sign here. Spared no expense. That N is a bit antisocial, isn't it?
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, interesting thing about the old weather. I thought it would be another complete washout today. Um, but it's actually turning out to be a really, really nice sunny day, which is fantastic. Um, you know, yesterday it was gorgeous up until about four, five o'clock. So we had a really good day yesterday too. Um, Yeah, and I thought today was going to be a complete and utter washout. Oh, super. It's going everywhere. Let's just get rid of that. Good job this is my painting side of the map. This Quake Cannon is absolutely incredible. I love it. If you're using this Titan on a uh, five by four board or whatever, with this configuration with the Quake Cannon, at the end of the match, whoever wins or loses, um, you need to hand over your Nemesis Titan to your opponent. That's that's the rules. because you clearly have not mastered the, any kind of Titan strategy of using these. <laughs> That's why if, if you ever fought against me and I'd use this Titan, I would uh, insist on a play area of 28 feet. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you know, this does have a nice 480 inch range. Other than like the infinite missiles, like the hunter killers or whatever they are, and this has the longest range that I know of. Until they nerf it, that is. You know, they do like to nerf Titan weapons, that are, you know. Not sure why. It's a bit of a kick in the teeth, really. I mean, I don't think the rules are the main reason why you'd you get a Titan. You, you can build many Death Star armies for considerably cheaper money and points than a Titan. But you know, some people still like to have kind of I say law accurate rules. Not really, because these weapons kind of wipe out cities, but. <laughs> Super's uh, weapon of mass destruction. I prefer it to the volcano volcano because. It still has the length, but it has that all important girth. Yeah, I think these are going to be quite tricky to uh, clean up in there. We'll keep an eye on those. 
Likewise, I think the front is going to be a bit tricky. It's just odd shapes, odd angles, odd cre cre crevices. Crevices. I mean, the shells look nice and shiny. Ah, oh, to think I could have been painting sisters. There is that new novel coming out, though. I suppose I should really read the first one. Another um, Bloody Rose novel. Order of the Peaky Bl Bloody Roses. It's nice when your chapter or your army or whatever gets uh, novels. Would I get a third one? Um, if they brought out a different main weapon, possibly, because it's an all right kit to build. It's not too bad, other than like the legs. The hips are good, um, the feet are fine. It's just getting that gait right. Uh, everything else is, yeah, quite straightforward. It's CAD as well, so. You're not going to have any issues. Thing is, is this really a miniature anymore? When does a miniature stop becoming a miniature? Will it always be a miniature if it's smaller than the the real thing? Started to uh, shade myself now. I'll really bring out my detail. But I'm I'm not forward toward resin. I'm something much more expensive. Alright, where's this coffee? Here we go. Well, the ice melts really quickly on that one. Oh, that's good. Oh, got a little coconut latte today. Iced coconut latte. 
I thought I'd announce what I've just made, Maxim, just to, you know, be in the coffee snob you are. <laughs> oh, man pass revoked. You can't revoke a man pass when I'm holding a big weapon. Come on. Um, right, so this is a key point in which I'm not going to paint the sides because then I can paint the the shaft. I've been meaning to say that for quite a while. Shade the, this big shaft. That's what you need. Give it a good uh, brushing. I hope you've all got bets on of um, how long it's going to take me to uh, knock this bottle of Nuln oil over. Will he use all of it? Will Super use all of the shade before he knocks it over? Imagine. Imagine if I knocked it over and it was empty. Again, I have no idea what to... Oh, I do have an idea of what to colour this weapon because I've already painted one over there. Perfect. I already have a uh, sort of canvas then. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, these will need to be painted um, metallic again, these these areas, these recoil compensators or whatever you want to call them. We're getting there. We are getting there. Just this, it is a bit, um, oops, it's a bit of an effort because these pieces are big and they weigh a fair amount.
so it can get quite tiring holding a big hard weapon like this for uh, any amount of time but it's just practice I guess This is where it's going to get a bit unwieldy. Right here. Sorry for the silence, just uh, sort of concentrating at the moment. Let me get that shade in. I'm probably going to have to go over it, but it would have been better to hold it there. I think look, looking back on it rather than right down here. It gets a bit unwieldy if you hold it towards the uh, base. But all things considered, doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Yeah, of course, I've got to do the... Um, Interesting. The uh, support. Okay, that's that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, done with that, I can go over there. Uh, what did we say we we're gonna do next? The main, the main event. I sort of want the legs to be moved though, if I can. Uh, will I dry brush next? Yeah, but not in this live stream, Maxim. I'm not dry brushing in the live stream because that is, that's not going to dry. I, I, I like to give that a good day <clears throat> before that's um, done. Because the, al although this is dry now, this, and you could dry brush it, it's all the little like nooks and crannies that you can see. So when you dry brush, the brush will pick, pick that up and um, that will 
oh yeah, really affect your dry brushing game. Like you can see it there, you can see it like wet in the crevices. I'm all for wet in the crevices, but not uh, if I'm gonna attempt to dry brush. Um, I'll just make a bit, a bit more room. It's giving my left hand a real workout. Oh, oh it's holding it with my left hand. So now we're gonna shade this. Shade the others. What are we looking at? Uh, we are two hours in, or two hours, 20 minutes in actually. So uh, I didn't want this live stream to be any more than three hours. So um, got another 40 minutes or so. If we say about half one, then I can go get some lunch and do other things. And uh, yeah, All right, we'll see how far we can get with uh, shading this. Well, there's quite a few people that have joined. Hello, how are you doing? Don't be shy, please do put in the comments what you're working on. Um, uh, you're working. Ah, okay. Well, you're working. I'm watching paint dry. It's fine. We're in this together. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have thought it'd be busy though. Um, being, uh, bank, uh, Bank holiday, or maybe maybe everybody's out and about. Uh, when I went out earlier this morning, there was quite a lot of people out. Out and about in sunny Norfolk. Making the most of their, their last day. Maybe, maybe some people are traveling back. They've had their holiday here and they're traveling back today. I don't know. We just don't know.
Last vacation day. Oh. Sampler, how are you doing? I think you said you were on um, vacation. I'm sure you said you were. Uh, yeah, it's funny how we, me and you, um, time our weeks off. It's odd, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm going to take some time off in September, just a couple of days, uh, to play Starfield. I hope it's good. And I think that's out in like a couple of weeks. Maybe next week, sorry. It's out next week, isn't it? Next week, Thursday, Friday? Is it next week, Thursday, Friday? Like the 6th? Uh, so yeah, I'll take a couple of days off then. And then I think I'll probably take a week off in October. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Although I've continued to run every day and um, I had a little bit of a health scare the other day. Um, so I stopped for two days and then I ran yesterday and I was absolutely fine, so... After this, I'll have a run and then find some food from somewhere. I don't know. Uh, you'll have you'll have a week off in October too. Nice one. I don't know what I'll do. I, I kind of want to work um, a couple of the days, like I did in my break this time. Although it's nice to have the day off on this bank holiday. Because I think I worked this last year, I think. Can't remember now. It was either this or Easter, I remember. Either the, this or Easter, I worked the, uh, the bank holiday. This is very true. Uh, yeah, this is very true. Um, uh, the, the issue is really, um, 
it's all right working all the time, you know, you, you get a bit of money that can fuel your hobbies and things, but then you end up not having the time for your hobbies. So. You wish you could take time off. No, do you not get um, holiday days or paid paid leave or anything, Revan? That's awful if you don't. I feel bad for you, man. Uh, yeah, no, no, I, no, I totally understand. Uh, I know it wasn't, and I know it's a um, shining reference. I watched it at um, Christmas. For me, it's definitely a Christmas film, kind of like Lord of Rings in a way. It's especially good watching The Shining when. It's cold weather or, or the snow, which <laughs> in the UK, it's very rarely in December. It just feels odd watching The Shining in February. <laughs> Okay, favourite Stanley Kubrick film then, everyone. Two thousand one Space Odyssey, straight in there. Yeah, that's so, so ahead of its time. It's just unbelievable. It's like so, it's like um, June. June was so ahead of its time too. The things that they talk about in that, it's almost like he wrote it yesterday. There's not many books that you read nowadays that um, are far into the future, like, like these. Some of the things we read, it's almost like it's the, the things are set in the future, but they describe certain things, activities, items, whatever, as if they are set in the past, if that makes sense. Like, oh, it's just it's just a, a different version of what we had before. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I, I understand why they try and do it so that they, you know, so that you've got some kind of understanding of in context of, of those objects that exist in a fiction world but um what what's wrong with kind of making things up completely i mean what's wrong with that <laughs> good morning dave
my sister's uh, godfather had a um, had a computer back in the day when I was a child, and he had programmed it or whatever to say that when you switched it on. That was creepy as, but it was very cool. And then when you had one of those um, old Windows prompts where it gave you a box that said um, not unexpected problem occurred or, or if it couldn't do something, it then said, I'm sorry, Dave, I can't do that. And now we're not that far from the old AI, are we? How many people's jobs will it? take before it dooms us all, I don't know. Every time you see a red lens you get chills. There was a Simpsons episode, wasn't there, with um, Hal in it. I think it was voiced by Pierce Brosnan. Open the airlock doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave, I can't do that. <laughs> fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Way ahead of its time. <laughs> um, you get 25 vacation days here in Netherlands and better use them exactly I think it depends um, kind of public sector, private sector, the company you work for, um, you know, what, what days is, are in your contract that they give you. Uh, I get 30 uh, days a year, and then I also get some other type of days as well as all bank holidays, um, uh, you know, sick leave and compassionate leave, all those kind of things. Um, which is pretty, pretty good. It's just, for me, it's just when to take them, really. That's my issue. Um, I try and take a few weeks off in the summer. Uh, sometimes I'll take a couple of weeks off in um, winter, like Christmas time.
and then for my other job, uh, I I don't get any sort of holiday leave. Um, I just get paid it instead. And obviously taxed on that holiday pay, which still, you know, sucks. It sucks that you get taxed on more than one job anyway. I think if you're working a second, third, fourth job or whatever, you shouldn't be taxed at all. I mean, the argument is, well, you know, someone could be working those hours full time and they would be paying tax. Yeah, I guess so. But, you know, you're already paying a large amount of tax in the main job. So... You know, it's it's just not really, I don't look at it as double tax, I look at it as more than double tax because, you know, for, for that second, third job or whatever, you're, you're also using your own transport proper, probably, um, you're also you paying more in, in uh, your bills and food and uh, fuel, all these kind of things to get there. Uh, so, yeah, it, it doesn't, I can see why the many people just don't have a second job and they just work a full job and you know build up their pension and then retire and that's it I, I completely understand that because um, there's just not enough incentive to uh, to go above and beyond what the system expects which sucks, really. But I'm all. Um. Uh, uh, 25 in law. Um, we get the usual as well as like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool, nice one. If you still work those, you get double pay. Um, oh, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, there, there are a few professions where if you work Christmas Day and um, Boxing Day and all those kind of things, bank holidays, you get you get extra pay. That's good. Um, do you think you could handle a third, fourth job? Well, I mean, on paper, um, on paper, people would say that this is the third job because I'm putting in more hours than a part-time job and I'm getting paid for it. So yeah, some, some would say this is a third job. If you're, if you're doing something and you're getting paid for it, kind of a job, isn't it? If you're trading your time for for money, I guess. It's odd. The whole kind of creator, YouTuber, Twitch thing is... It's odd. On the base level, it is a job. Because you're giving up your time to... Um, and you're getting paid for it. Like, if you weren't getting paid for it, then... I don't know. I don't think it would be a job. But classify pay, like if you were getting free stuff, yeah, I'd say it's a job. You know, if you're getting sponsored, for instance, like if, if Games Workshop were giving me loads of models and things for me to sit and paint and talk about Warhammer, yeah, I'd still say that's a job if you're getting free stuff. Um, Uh, but would I get a, I know what you mean, would I get like a another kind of third job, I guess, or fourth job? Um, no, I, th I think a lot of the time having one day off is, is not enough. I, you know, ideal world, two days off. Uh, I can, I can cope with one day off though. 
and even in that one day off it's not really a day off because I do all my videos and live stream and stuff so um, but yeah if I if I work somewhere else as well like on on the Saturday um no I don't think I could handle that no I've done some extra work on a Saturday in the main job before. That that's not too bad, um, and that's for extra pay, so that's that's not that bad. Well, we've nearly used up a whole large pot of um, non-oil, guys. How much are they, like six quid? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry, thanks for uh, telling me. Um, uh, do well, but not prefect. Perfect. Uh, exactly, definitely, yeah. Um, I sometimes in the other job sit there and go, you know, I, I could be doing other things right now like actually enjoying life and things um, in the other job. You, you're completely right. Hit the nail on the head. Sometimes you've just got to wonder whether giving up um, one of your, your days off in the weekend is, is, worth, is worth it. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And also plans as well, like if you have to go to a wedding or a birthday or, um, you know, whatever on on the Saturday or Sunday. And then you're working the other day. It's it's almost like you've, you've missed out on a. On a day off in a in a way, you know, like, you know what I mean? You kind of haven't had time to yourself. And so there's that aspect that, you know, that can happen. Oh, perfect. Uh, you got to work an hour to make that back. Yeah. Okay, this is actually quite difficult to get into and around, so I might use a different brush for that.
This is the thing though, like, um, for me, uh, sometimes if I have both days off at the weekend, um, I'll just be quite casual about it and laissez-faire, I guess. Whereas if I have um, just one day off, then I'll, I'll get so much done in that one day. And if I've got two days off, sometimes I'll think, oh, well, you know, I really could have done that today as well. Or... Well, it's different for different people, I guess. This is where I think a spray would be good in these uh, crevices. Well, I'm going to give you kind of like a five minute sort of heads up before I shoot off. Have my little run. But I, uh, it's been a pleasure um, spending the morning and a little bit of this afternoon with you guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed me making a, a good start on this uh, Titan. I'd like to do more of these uh, live streams. I said I'd uh, paint some Seraphon at some point, which I will, I'll stick to. And for the rest of my day, I'll go for my run and I'll uh, create some videos for the rest of this week kind of like today's video was this was kind of like the three hour um stream this was today's video uh, but i'll make some more videos uh for the rest of the week so i hope you enjoy them um i i, I guess the map is on its way <laughs> When I get Armoured Core 6 eventually from the Lazy Postman, uh, then uh, I'll live stream that. I prob I, the thing is, I'll probably receive that and the map tomorrow. You know what it's like. Um, And when I receive the map, I'll, of course, give you a, a first look unboxing. This is 
it's looking good. I'm enjoying this though. Um, yeah, I think I'll do the uh, plate. We've got time to do the plate. It's now just tricky where to, I guess I could finish off the other side a little bit. But yeah, we've used nearly a whole pot of, um, Large Nuln oil today. Um, will I collect plastic solar auxilia if it's a mysterious army? Um, yeah, thank you, Maxim and uh, Kriegsman, for, for being here. Um, Thanks guys, thank you Maxim, I know you're at work and things, so I do appreciate it. Um, will I collect plastic solar auxilia? If it's a mysterious, uh, mm, no, even if they bring it out in plastic, I, I'm not gonna go there with that, with the uh, auxilia. I might get a couple of the tanks, if the tanks look nice, you know, we'll see. But, Oh, thank you. I'll try and give you more of a heads up of times and things and when I am planning on streaming. So just sort of another five minutes or so. Um, I'll probably still be shading this uh, in the next live stream if I if I do another one. I'm sure I will do another one. Uh, but we'll also do some um, dry brushing. Reminds me of kind of painting a reaver, really. It's not quite as big as a, a warlord in terms of scale. Yep, we've almost used this whole pot. Cracked it open today, it's a fresh pot. I'm glad I made some decent progress on this today for you guys. Just gives you an idea of how much work is involved. But yeah, thank you everyone to, uh, who have uh, tuned in today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've had a good time. I hope you enjoy the videos this week that I'm about to now make.
yeah, that's a whole pot done. And that's actually a really, really good time to um, end the stream. Well, all gone in uh, that one sitting. So I'm going to have to find a few more. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for joining. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.